Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Insider Financial Talks Penny Stocks. My name is Alex Carlson. I will be your host today, the editor-in-chief of InsiderFinancial.com, and today we're going to be discussing NUVG, XCPL, EMGE, ELRA, CYDY, TXTM, NICH, IFXY, CZNI, and AXXA. But before we get into that, we have a few housekeeping issues to go over. We have no business relationship with any company whose stock is mentioned in this video. Insider Financial and myself are not investment advisors, and this video does not provide investment advice. Always do your own research, make your own investment decisions, or consult with your nearest financial advisor. This video is not a solicitation or recommendation to buy, sell, or hold securities. This video Videos are opinions meant for informational and education purposes only and does not provide investment advice. For more information, please read our full disclaimer at insiderfinancial.com backslash disclaimer. With that out of the way, let's dive in here, folks. I've been relatively quiet this week on Twitter. Um, been very, very busy traveling this week. I've been meeting with some OTC, C OTC CEOs, uh, talking to some reverse merger candidates, uh, doing talking to basically the players that make things happen. And uh, we're doing a lot of deep dives, a lot of research, basically laying the foundation for a big second half of 2022 for our subscribers. The big winner uh, for our subscribers this week was NUVG, a reverse merger play, uh, just a $20 million market cap. And guys, this is the real deal. Uh, back in uh, on uh, the end of June, they uh, uh, did a funding round. They raised five and a half million dollars at a valuation of four hundred and twenty-two million dollars. Uh, the Re NUVG is merging with Pro Music Rights. This is one of the world's largest music licensing companies. Uh, they are all over Twitter uh, at uh, Pro Music Rights. Uh, they have just over 3,000 followers. This thing is really going to blow up. There's going to be a lot more followers. This is a going to be a very popular name on the OTC markets, and they've been putting out a lot of updates on Twitter and also with official press releases. Guys, that's one thing I want to talk to you about. Um, there was a lot of things going on about ELRA. Um, I don't know the whole, you know, I'm finding this out today, what's happened here. Uh, no position, no uh, no skin in the game. It's, uh, But they're talking about a scam, that things were posted on Twitter that were not by the company. Guys, you know, you are, if, you know, I've been doing this a long time. Uh, you want to verify everything, uh, and you got to go to otcmarkets.com, enter the symbol, and this is ELRA. When you look under news, you know, not available, not available, you know, not available. I mean, there's nothing here. Um, so, you know, that is an immediate red flag. Um, so, you know, Anything that you, you know, on social media, you know, um, you have to verify, you know, the information. Um, it's like us. When we do a full report for our subscribers, we can, we only take from publicly available information. Uh, we prepare a full and complete report, but that is just the starting point. We encourage everyone uh, of our subscribers, you know, always go and do your own due diligence. But, you know, we are the starting point. We provide a lot of the, you know, Know, uh, find these winners uh, before they run. Uh, that's why it's so important to be a subscriber. Go to, you know, sign up in any of the sign up boxes or go to signup.insiderfinancial.com. Sign up with your email and your mobile number. Mobile is the fastest way to get our reports. We release them at the opening bell. Uh, this way, everyone uh, gets it at the same time, they know when it's coming. And uh, if you sign up for text messages, it works for all numbers worldwide. Simply enter your country code first, followed by your number. For U.S. and Canada, be one plus area code and number. Never begin the format with zero. It will not work. And like I said, you know, we do all the work so that you don't have to. We find these tickers before they run. And the best part is we are a completely free service. We do not run any paid subscription service whatsoever. But, uh, you know, guys, you know, ELRA, uh, you know, big runner this week. I'm not going to throw anything on uh, cold water or anything. I don't know what's really going on with if, if there's, uh, uh, you know, 
you know, scam, not, you know, there's just rumors on Twitter. So um, I try to stay out of the drama on Twitter. Um, so just again, all I want to tell everyone is do your own due diligence first. Uh, next up is another uh, reverse merger play, uh, XCPE. XCPL, uh, this is just a $1.6 million market cap. Um, XCP uh, is merging uh, with Sentiment Capital Holdings. Um, company here, uh, reverse merger. And like I said, what I like about these reverse merger plays is, you know, if you look at like, you know, XCPL, um, you had some volume back uh, in March, but it's been relatively quiet. And then you get these volume spikes. Same with the NUVG. You know, there was nothing going on for the last year. Um, and then, you know, boom, reverse merger announcement, and then you get this explosion. So, you know, when you can, uh, you know, find out before these, you know, reverse mergers happen, that's when you can make a lot of money. You know, just on NUVG, you know, this was a 10x uh, in the matter of days. So again, a tremendous opportunity on the OTC markets. And, you know, when you see 10x moves, um, this is what gets people excited. This is what gets, uh, you know, deals start happening, uh, deals start closing. When people see these, the opportunity to make this kind of money, um, this is what gets, you know, volume coming back into the OTC because right now, where can you make 10 X right now? You cannot make that anywhere. Not in crypto, not on big boards, not in, you know, it's, uh, it's very hard in options trading, uh, with the OTC, uh, you know, this could be just the start. Of, uh, of what we think is going to be a big, big second half of 2022. Um, EMGE, uh, this is just another one. This is just a $3.3 million market cap. Um, Emergent Health, uh, they're getting ready to do a, um, uh, what we got here? Uh, yeah, they're get closing in on an acquisition of Regen Bio Wellness. Uh, they bought this company out of bankruptcy. Again, this is just a $3.3 million market cap. They've been putting out a lot of press uh, press releases. Um, the, the former L'Oreal uh, president, Jim Morrison, that's a big name. Uh, he's set to become the full-time CEO of Emergent. So again, you know, this is a, you know, he was president of L'Oreal, one of the largest cosmetics companies in the world, um, and he's getting ready to do stuff here with EMGE and it's just a 3.3 million dollar market cap so we see this as a ground floor opportunity uh, you look at the stock here I mean again very very light volume this is the beginning stages of uh, what they're uh, getting ready to do with uh, EMGE uh, next up, guys, is CYDY. Uh, big week, uh, up 68% for the week. Uh, and this is all due to our biotech analyst, Chris Sandberg. He put out an article this week, Glaxo's new focus after Halion spinoff shines a light on Cytodyne as a takeover target. So I highly recommend you go to insiderfinancial.com and read this full report uh, that Chris has written on CYDY. Why uh, it's certainly uh, been uh, a, a big, uh, big article this week. Uh, we had over 10,000 page views on this article, so we have we have huge traffic, uh, and you know we get a lot of we have a ton of followers, ton of subscribers, um, and you know this really uh, you know when when this information gets out, it, it really helps people understand what's going on uh, on a lot of these plays. Uh, next up, guys, is TXTM. Uh, this is the big reverse merger. Um, they're getting ready to, uh, uh, this will be the largest cannabis hemp, cannabis hemp farm in the world in South Africa. Um, just uh, up 85% on Friday. Um, you know, volatile trading. Uh, you know, this is when the, the deal got announced. Uh, ran all the way uh, to just under two cents. Uh, pulled off, profit taking. Guys, you know, I tell everyone, you know, when you catch these types of moves, you know, 200, 100, 200, 300, 500, 1,000 percent, please always be booking profits. Use trailing stops. Uh, you know, these are not buy and long term holds. These are, you know, get in, make the money, move on. It's not about the diamond hands, paper hands, BS. You are in the make money business. And there's no place like the OTC markets 
and penny stocks in general. Also on the NASDAQ, we recommend everyone trade both OTC and NASDAQ because there's a lot of opportunities on both markets. But, you know, guys, you don't fall in love with these penny stocks. Make the money. Move on to the next play. Uh, NICH, uh, another one, just a $2.5 million market cap. This was this is a former runner, got as high as $0.75 cents, uh, back in February. Uh, they just put out a, a, a news uh, paying off their convertible notes. Guys, when a company's doing this, they're doing all the right things. Um, you know, CEO John Morgan, you know, uh, he's he's out talking about the company. He says, our primary goal remains to bring the utmost value to our shareholders. So he is a quality OTC CEO. Uh, these are the things that you want to look for in an OTC CEO. We've been meeting with some uh, OTC CEOs this week. Uh, we'll be providing uh, more in-depth uh, coverage to our subscribers only. Uh, we don't post on, uh, on Twitter. We're not one of those. You know, we, we want to provide the full report. Uh, this way you can do a, a you know deep dive on your own um, you know just a tweet it's just not enough information so you know we're we're big into the full reports um, you know here at insiderfinancial.com um, this is what you know we gather from publicly available information interviews uh, you know and uh, we go from there um, next up guys is uh, IFXY um, this one is a reverse merger play. Uh, good week here. Um, there's a lot to like. I mean, they put out, uh, um, you know, they're expected to quote, uh, close uh, the Mi Pulpe acquisition, expo expected to close uh, uh, the week of July 25th. Um, me Pulpe is a U.S. master importer and distributor of specialty nostalgic food and beverage products catering to the Latin, Latin American market segment. The company generated over $22 million in revenues in 2021. Um, extremely cheap play here. You know, you got a $22 million a year business uh, merging in. Um, uh, they're also looking at other uh, potential acquisition car, uh, targets. Uh, Mi Pulpe is the first of several uh, the company expects to uh, complete in the following months. Uh, they're getting ready to f uh, make a request with FINRA for a name and ticker change uh, to reflect better its overall strategy. Um, you know, company says there are no plans for a reverse split or the increase in number of authorized shares. So again, you know, doing all the right things. Uh, this is a, a play that you know IFXY uh, you need to get on your radar. Uh, next up, guys, CZNI. We had some profit taking this week. We are still uh, in the midst of preparing our full report. We're going to have a teaser for everyone tomorrow, uh, uh, Sunday. Uh, so make sure you are signed up at signup.insiderfinancial.com uh, for info on CZNI. Uh, just a $10 million market cap. Uh, we got uh, so there's going to be some an announcement on Tuesday. So there's a lot of things happening in in CZNI, um, and we'll. Uh, we'll keep uh, everyone updated. Uh, lastly, guys, is AXA, A A AXXA uh, up 31%. Um, if you look at the company, uh, just an $8 million market cap. And then you look, I mean, they are churning out huge revenues. Um, just in the uh, fourth quarter, the company generated $11 million in revenues. Net income grew 84.5% to 3 million. Uh, gross profit margin is 61.9%. Uh, fiscal 2022 revenue was 40, um, just under 50 million, up from 33.9 million. I mean, guys, AXXA, this is just an $8 million market cap. This is extremely undervalued. So, uh, again, this is one AXXA. If it's not on your radar, it should be. But overall, guys, I love this week. There's a lot to like right now on the OTC markets. Uh, I'll be uh, back in the office uh, middle of the week uh, and, uh, you know, be putting out a lot more information. But, you know, I'm still always around um, and monitoring the markets as best I can from, uh, uh, you know, my iPad, uh, iPhone. So just trying to keep abreast of everything that's going on. I really like what I'm hearing, what I'm seeing. And overall, it was just a great week on the OTC markets and I'm super excited for uh, everyone that trades OTC and particularly our subscribers are catching some of these big runners. 
With that being said, wish everyone a wonderful weekend and make sure you go to signup.insiderfinancial.com so you don't miss any updates. Thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.